Let A1, A2, A3 and A4 be 4 matrices of dimensions 10 by 5, 5 by 20, 20 by 10 and 10 by 5 respectively. The minimum number of scalar multiplications required to find the product A1, A2, A3, A4 using basic matrix multiplication method is dash. So this is a question coming from algorithm section regarding matrix chain multiplication. Now, if you have two matrices, let us say A1 and A2 of dimensions A1 having 10 by 5 and A2 having 5 by 20, then the number of scalar multiplication that it will need will be 10 into 5 into 20. If it's at 10 by 5 and 5 by 20 matrix, if you are multiplying, the scalar multiplications are number of scalar multiplications are 10 into 5 into 20 and also the final matrix a1 a2 will be having a dimension of 10 into 20 okay so using this information we'll try to find out which is the chain that minimizes the number of scalar multiplications required so in if we need to find out a1 a2 a3 a4 there are five matrix multiplication chains possible one is a1, A2, first we multiply together, then we multiply to A3 and then we multiply that to A4. Or we multiply A1 and A2 together, after, then we multiply A3 and A4 together and then these two we multiply at the end. Or we multiply A2 and A3 first, to that we multiply A1 and to that we multiply A4. Or A2 and A3 we multiply first, to that we multiply A4 and to that we multiply A1. Or the fifth possibility is A3 and A4 we multiply together, to that we multiply A2 and to that we multiply A1. These are the only five possibilities if you are multiplying four matrices. Now for each of these five possibilities we will calculate the number of scalar multiplications required and then we will find out the minimum. So in the first case we are multiplying A1 and A2. So these are the dimensions of A1, this dimension of A2, 10 by 5, 5 by 20. So total scalar multiplications will be 10 into 5 into 20, that is 1000. Now the final matrix will have a dimension of 10 by 20 here. Now to this we are multiplying a matrix A3 of dimension 20 by 10. So that will add the number of scalar multiplications as 10 into 20 into 10, that is 2000. Now that matrix will have a final dimension of 10 into 10. To that, if you are multiplying A4, I will get 10 into 10 into 5 multiplication, that is 500. So a total of 3500 scalar multiplication will be required if you are using this chain. Similarly, for each of the chain, I have calculated the value here. If you are multiplying like this, A2, A1, A2 will add 1000, A3, A4 will add 1000. And at the end, uh, multiplying these two will add another 1000, which will give 3000. Similarly, in this chain, A2, A3 will give 1000. To that, if you are multiplying A1, it will add 500. To that, if you are multiplying A4, it will add 500. Total will be 2000. In this case, A2 and A3, when multiplied, will give 1000. To that, if you are multiplying A4, it gives only 250. To that, if you are multiplying A1, it gives only 250. So total is 1500. And if you are multiplying using this chain, a3, A4 gives 1000, to that multiplying A2 will give 500, to that multiplying A1 will give 250, total of 1750. So clearly the minimum in all these five is 1500 when we are using this particular chain. So the answer is 1500.